Hey everybody, how you doing? I am Brendan Moran. This is Scott Dennison. He is the director of A Christmas Carol here at the Lesher Center for the Arts. Scott, how are you? I'm doing great, how about you? I'm okay. Now, for people who may not know about A Christmas Carol, can you tell us what this play is about? Absolutely, it's about a gentleman by the name of Ebenezer Scrooge. I've heard of him. Who, um, kind of throughout his life, he has some ups and downs, and when we discover him, he's a crotchety, stingy, landlord, so to speak, right. a loan shark. And um, he, he's visited by his old partner, Jacob Marley, and then three ghosts, past, present, and future. And those are the past, present, and future of Ebenezer Scrooge. Show, shows him kind of what he was like when he was young, mm -hmm. what he's like and perceived today, and what if he continues on his path, he'll look like in the future. And that's really the, the key to his redemption, changing, realizing that, um, that his life is not etched in stone at this point. It can be adjusted. It's a very happy, family-oriented kind of, kind of story. Well, you have a lot of experience with this, right? How long have you been doing this? I've been directing this production for 14 years, so it's unusual that a director has an opportunity to look at their work on stage and say, you know, I'm gonna fix that next year, and then do that again and again. And so now this is my 14th year wow. to be able to kind of go in and tweak and fix and adjust and make the timing um, exactly how we want it. You know, you're not the only one who's been around the block a couple times, right? That's right. A lot right. of the cast keeps coming back. Usually I have about two thirds of the cast that return each year, and that just helps us kind of create and tell the story that Dickens wrote. And it's, um, it's really a wonderful story, and with their help, creating the very rich characters that we have on stage, they help tell this glorious story. They must like working with you too, you're doing something right. Well, you know, I don't know, we're, we're, we tend to be a little bit of a family. We all uh, really like each other, we like working together, and uh, even Jack Powell, who plays Ebenezer Scrooge, um, he, uh, he, he says yes to me every year when I give him a call, and that's a good thing, because he's a great Scrooge. Contra Costa Times says that your show is the Christmas Carol to see in the Bay Area. Why? I agree with them. I, I yeah, agree with them. Yeah, well, you would. But tell um, me why. Well, I think, I think what we discovered a few years ago is that there's elements of laughter through this whole show. And I, I just, I think that throughout the show, we've, found, we've discovered the way that laughter plays a part in Scrooge's life. And I think that's sort of our common thread throughout the production. And it's, it's fun to kind of watch and, and see his transformation until at the end, he's laughing and it's almost, he, he hasn't laughed for years, and it's almost like a release, and he feels so good in being able to laugh again. And I think that's part of the, the magic that we have. Well, I am definitely gonna go see it, Scott, thank you. I'll see you there. All right, and now let's check out a behind the scenes look at what it takes to get this show on the road with set designer, Kelly Tai. Hi, I'm Kelly Tai. I'm the set designer for Center Rep's annual production of A Christmas Carol. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We're getting ready to move Christmas Carol into the theater, and it's in the shop right now, so come on in. This is Center Rep's scene shop, which is something that the audiences don't get to see ordinarily with Center Rep. Uh, it's about 5,000 square feet of carpentry, welding, and paint space. And A Christmas Carol, some of our pieces are being refurbished and they're on the paint deck, so right over this way. So we're here on the paint and assembly deck and we've got a little taste of part of the scenery for Christmas Carol. Uh, every year we try to bring in something new, a new trick, a new ghost, uh, something fun and exciting so that audiences who come back year after year have something new to see. This piece is part of a, a, a very large chunk of scenery that was added last year. Um, this is part of our false proscenium, which is the arch that surrounds the whole stage picture for the show every year. Our production is based in imagination and that's really how we drive the story with imagination and laughter. And because of that degree of imagination, everything that we do is meant to have more than one purpose. So, for instance, this piece has sort of some iconic textures. We've got brick and plaster and timber beams, all the sorts of things that you kind of think of when you think about Dickens' London. 
Um, it's used in a number of ways. It can be an exterior. It uh, sort of reads as a big bridge over the set for all of our street scenes. And when we go to the sewers of London, we can sort of scrape light down the bricks and it can become very eerie. But then it can also become really warm. And at one point it becomes the Cratchit's home for uh, Tiny Tim and the Cratchit's Christmas dinner. And we achieve that by just simply adding a wreath, a little bit of a mantle, and then these doors get opened up we add a little fireplace insert, a pot of potatoes boiling over the fire, and a dinner table, and you've got the Cratchit's house. So that's kind of fun. Um, and when we want to warm it up, this window you can see is lit up right now so that it's a little warmer and takes us into the Cratchit's home. When we want to get a little darker, we turn the lights off. We also uh, tend to sneak things in on the scenery, um, tributes to family and friends. Uh, this is a uh, tribute to George Dennison, who was our director's father, who passed away last year. And so when people come or go, we try to give them a little tribute here and there. Um, everything is made in our shop, uh, all constructed just for Christmas Carol by uh, carpenters who work full-time for Center Rep. And all of the materials are brand new when we go to build them. So while it looks like it's, you know, a couple hundred years old, it's all been built, treated, and painted by our shops. Um, everything's framed in steel. The set is three stories high. We go through 200 pounds of dry ice for every performance, 40 to 50 pounds of confetti for the run of the show. We fly one actor, we fly a ghost over the house, we fly ghosts over the stage with pneumatic cannons, all of it designed, invented, and built just for Center Rep's Christmas Carol. Now don't forget, this is one of Center Rep's most popular shows, so get your tickets early, everybody. And there's plenty more on the holiday menu here at the Lesher Center for the Arts. For calendar and ticket information, go to lesherartscenter.org or call 943-SHOW.